This is how I edit my gaming TikTok videos on DaVinci Resolve. DaVinci Resolve is free, so if you guys want to get it and try it out, feel free to do that and let me know in the comments if this helped you out. So we're going to get right into it. A little unedited tutorial. Let's go. So I already have my clip uploaded. If you guys want to know how to upload a clip, you just go to File, and then you go to Import, and the Media, and then you find your clip on your computer. But once you get your clip uploaded, then you're going to want to go to Change timeline using selected clips so you click this top thing and then you unclick this checkbox go to format and you're basically going to swap the 1920 and 1080 that's going to basically make it from horizontal to vertical so vertical for tiktok format you take the 1920 and you change that to 1080 and you take the 1080 and you change it to 1920 once you do that you can see it's all in horizontal format and you're going to add three layers to this clip so it already has one so you add another one that's two and then you add a third so the top one is going to be your webcam, the middle one is going to be your gameplay, and the bottom one is going to be your background, which is going to be like the blurred version. And obviously, if you don't have a webcam, you don't have a face cam, then you only need to do two. You don't need to worry about the top one. So the first thing I like to do is I like to mute the audio on the top two clips, because if you have three stacked audios, it's going to be super loud. So just make sure you mute two of them so it plays the audio as one clip. So you mute the top two, and then after that, I like to go to the bottom clip, the one that's going to be the background. And then you apply Gaussian Blur, double click that, go to Effects, and you can kind of do this however you want. You can kind of eyeball it. I just go all the way up with the blur. I think that looks good, but you can make it lower or smaller, and you guys will see how that will look in a second. So after you do that, all your clips are pretty much set. You just got to format them. So you click on the top one, and then you go to this little drop down arrow and click Crop. So then you're going to bring this down. You're going to crop out this webcam for your top clip. It doesn't have to be perfect at first. You just kind of get you just eyeball it. After you do that, you go to transform, move this little white circle into the middle, and then you're going to drag it, make it bigger. Then you can do the fine details and make sure it looks really good and crop out the rest of it. So you just make sure your webcam looks good, your face cam looks good. And then you can kind of just personal preference decide where you want to put your webcam and how you want to do your webcam. I just kind of do something like that. It doesn't have to be perfect. Um, just as long as it looks kind of good. Next, you take your clip, your actual clip, and you just stretch it out. This is all kind of like your personal preference, preference, how you want to look, and you'll kind of get used to this as you go. So it doesn't have to be perfect by all means. So then you stretch it out to this. Looks pretty good. Like I said, it doesn't have to be perfect. Then your third layer that's blurred out, you stretch it out so there's no black boxes, and that's that's pretty much your clip. But what I like to do to take it another step and make it look even better is I go to the color tab and I make sure I have my second clip selected, the middle one, which is your, your actual clip, not the face cam, not the blur version. And I like going to mid and detail. I like boosting that bad boy all the way up to 100. I like going to the bottom left to color boost, boosting up to 100. And I like to go to saturation and boost up to 60-ish, 70-ish. This is all personal preference. You can play around with it, figure out what colors work best for you for your game and just figure out what you like personally. But I like this a lot, and as you can see, it makes it way brighter, and it makes it more eye-catching for the viewer. So, and there you go, man. That's how I edit my gaming clip. Once you're done, you just go to the Deliver tab. Make sure you change it to MP4 format. Add to Render Queue, and you just upload it to your computer. Clip. Save. Render. And that's it. It's going to be on your computer, and that's how you edit a gaming TikTok video on DaVinci Resolve.